Welcome back to another walkthrough. Today we're taking a peek at a 2006 Fleetwood Bounder 38S. Now this is a diesel pusher. It's a triple slide diesel pusher with a 300 cat motor in it, or engine I should say. It's about 38 feet long. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a quick stroll around the exterior, see all the compartments, any imperfections, and we'll jump inside and see what's going on in there. So first off, let's look at the generator. It's right up front. I do need to replace the struts. Well, you do have a Onan 7500 diesel generator. And I will show you the uh, hours once we head inside. See a couple other things in access. The front, no bra or anything. You do have a couple rock chips, as you can see. You could put a bra on. It does have the buttons for it. Now your first slide, you got opposing slides in the main galley area. So this is your first slide. Tire size, where are we at? Oh, there they are. 275, 70R, 225s. You do have a uh, automatic awning right there, an electric awning for the door. I do need to fix that. And then an additionally an electric awning right here for the uh, over the slide. And then as you can see, we have a couple of these window awnings, which I absolutely love. Your first compartment, this does come out with the slide. As you can see, it goes all the way down there and you get a little pull out white tray there. I do need to replace the handle. I actually just broke that. Whoopsie. No big deal though. This is full body paint, which was one of the options. And that's why up here, you do see a little bit of clear coat starting to peel. And that does happen from time to time. I mean, this thing is already 15 years old, but at least the base coat isn't looking awful and there's no stickers. Now your storage compartments, previous owner did do some uh, custom shelving. I kind of wish these people would stain these shelves because it just stands out and doesn't look all that good. But you do have an area to store more stuff with that excess shelving. See a little storage right there, more shelving. And then over here we do have another little storage compartment and it looks like a couple low point drains. Emergency shut off, any remote fill. All right, water heater. That is a 10 gallon water heater, which is nice. A little bit of an upgrade from the base six. Here's the rear, two ACs of course, got a 10K hitch on the back with a seven pin connector. Unlock a knucklehead, I forgot to unlock this so you can see exactly what you see here, the radiator. Not much going on, we do have an oil fill there, transmission oil, I'm sorry, fluid check and then transmission oil and regular oil fill. You can kind of see your little filter gauge there. Once again, 300 Caterpillar, got that big yellow block in there. And on the driver's side here, we got your two additional slides. Now this first area, we're gonna have batteries. Whole lot of batteries, couple disconnects. Even more batteries, they just keep going. And then of course an inverter, 50 amp power service. Gotta have that 50 amp with the dual AC. Window awnings on both sides. I don't think they've ever really come out because they're all a little kind of hanging thing. It's all been up, so I highly doubt they ever even really put them out. But you got four of them, which is really cool if you're going to be parked somewhere for an extended amount of time. Dump station. See so your gray and your black dumps down there. A couple tanks right above it. Outdoor shower. Some flushes. And paper towels. And then you got another little storage compartment right there. Now on both sides of the galley, the storage compartments do come out with the slide. So what's kind of cool is you could actually get in there and access the chassis. You can see the propane tank right there and those jacks pretty easily. Now this side does have that same style kind of storage system where they are all connected to one. There's your ladder extension for the rear. And then finally, there's one more storage compartment up here with another shelf in it. Not too bad. See the generator exhaust. Fuel fill is on both sides right there and on the other side. All right. Let's go jump inside and see how the coach looks inside. Two electric steps that come out and then a few more jumping in there. 
do have a step cover. It is a manual. Just lift and pull. Lift, pull in place, I should say. And here's your first peek of the interior. Your main galley area. Now, before we do anything too crazy, we are going to start up front and check out that kind of driver cab area. We got auxiliary start, fan controls, transmission, mirrors, light controls. See, so you got a couple air gauges, oil, all types of fun stuff. Little computer down below. And then 65062 for the mileage. Passenger and driver shades. That is an option. Electric bean, I should say. Backup camera, I love where that thing is mounted. It's pretty much perfect. You don't have to look to the right, look down, nothing like that. It's literally pretty much right in your view. It's a great little feature. Little cup holder down here. AC controls, generator start. What does that say? 184.9, very low hours. AM, FM radio, nothing too crazy there. All right, behind door number one in the cab. More shelving. My gosh. Satellite up there. And you gotta have the VHS player. That's crucial. Little tuner, switch box, nothing too crazy. TV was upgraded to a flat screen. As you can see behind, there was a whole lot of space, but they probably put some wood up there and mounted that bad boy. See your battery disconnects, level testers, inverter, power status, jacks right there. And you can see auto leveling. AC system that does have a zone feature on it. And then your slide controls. And then, check it out. You do have a one sensor on the awning, which is nice. And both your awning controls right there above the driver, I'm sorry, passenger door. Both passenger seats are ultra leather flex steels. That is also an option in this coach. Not too many options, but I did locate all the options available. A little bit of wear starting on the driver's seat. Not too bad. I mean, the, I guess the wrinkling isn't nearly as bad as you would expect for a 15 year old coach. They are both electric. Passenger seat does have a little, a, uh, a leg rest that'll come out, which is kind of nice. Both the seats do also turn. So if you want to, you know, give you a little bit more conversing style in the galley, you can. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you both these slides and we'll look at all the compartments and I'll open them all up one fail sweep. Sleeper sofa. It is a leather sofa, one of those ultra leathers and does have a cushion sleeper down there. Cup holder. And then it is a booth dinette. There was an option for a stand, freestanding table and chairs. They opted to go with the booth. And then you do have a couple drawers. We will get there. Right behind us is gonna be the kitchen. But before we get that, let me show you my printouts. This is our sales ad. See, we got our price at 60 grand, which I think is a pretty good deal for this queen of a uh, diesel pusher. That is the floor plan. None of these options down here this coach has. Here is all the standard features. Try to go slow so you can pause and read through this if you would like. And then on the right column here, you'll see the options I highlighted. So there's that. Now the other slide, it's gonna be the couch in the kitchen. Goes from there all the way down right before that wall. Lots of storage. Another sleeper is a jackknife sleeper, is also cloth. And then of course your kitchen. Does have the upgraded 21 inch oven with the three burner stove top above it, residential microwave. Now let me put you guys on pause. Let me open up and show you how madness this looks with all the cabinets open and how much storage you have. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, here we are. So first off, driver's side, four overhead storages, two and two connected with a center split in the middle. Your very light reading material here. Now moving over, I love storage under the dinette, especially when they're on sliders like this. They are huge, 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 huge storages. And you do get that on both sides. Once again, we got our uh, woodworker here. Oh, that looks let's get that right much better kind of nice cubby holes shoes something washcloths all right now on the driver's side above the couch very similar style you know two compartments above and then your kitchen is really where the storage 
takes it up a notch. So you have all that overhead storage and all the storage down below. Look how deep all four of these drawers are. Very nice. Let's push these in right above. A little bit of storage there, in case you're wondering. Here's some weights. Now, these all this is a corian top, and there's corian covers throughout for both the stove top and of course the sink. That oven was, like I said, an upgrade. Water pump, fantastic fan control there, right where the sponge drawer is. And then, oh, does that slide? What happens there? No, what's in okay? I don't know what goes on there. You can put all your corian tops in here for easy keeping storage while traveling. And then, nice decent sized storage there, two big drawers. And I always call these laundry chutes. I don't know what you'd put in here. Probably plastic bags, I'd assume. <clears throat> And then finally, custom shelving, what a surprise. More storage up here, spice rack above the microwave, and check it out, this is actually a convection oven too, I didn't know that. So you have the convection microwave or the oven, 21 inch, you gotta choose which route you wanna go. Now the only other thing that we're missing in the kitchen, of course, is the fridge. Four door, nor cold fridge, so your bottoms, Going to be your micro oh, microwave. Bottom's going to be the refrigerator portion of this, and then of course the top freezer. Top right should just be a standard freezer, not connected. Top left ice maker, ice maker, very nice. <clears throat> AC is fully ducted. You can see your vents there. You got one one unit right in the middle, the other unit kind of right up front. This one does have the option to uh, blow the air out the actual unit instead of going through the vents. So if you wanna just cool down this area very fast, open all the vents, stand right under it, feels phenomenal. All right, let's move on back to the bathroom. Before we get to the bedroom, you do have a door separator. It is magnetic, just like that. Very nice. Not just a curtain or a you know, cheap flimsy door. You still get the, obviously the space above, but now, Carpeting into the bedroom, another door right there to separate the bedroom, give you like a master suite. To the right, shower, left toilet. The shower is a, looks like a fiberglass corner shower with a seat. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know I am 5'9". I am super tall. Not tall enough to even jump and touch the top of the ceiling there. It's a good size shower. You can actually wash your ankles. Your bathroom. There's your china toilet. Does have a vanity in here with a sink. A little bit of storage down below. Not a medicine. Oh my gosh, look at the shelving this guy has done. I love it. And then finally, behind the toilet, toilet paper storage. You, you think you'd take the opportunity to put more shelving in here. Very surprised. Fantastic fan right above us. All right. Now, finally, your bedroom, where your last slide is located. You can see the crown molding, follow it down, boom, more crown molding. Queen bed. It's not an air mattress or anything. Um, it does look like a full residential queen. I don't think it's a short queen like you usually get. But I love down below. What's in here? I'm not even sure. Let's look. Breaker box. All right, makes sense. On the right and left side of the bed, you do have a little table. And then there is... I know there's power, oh, there it is, power somewhere around here. Uh, so if you have a CPAP machine, you can easily do that. You can see that little green light is your generator start if you need to you know, get it going, get the heat or AC going. Up above, you do have a few storages. They're very small and you don't get much access to put anything in there, but they are there if you want. Right in front of the mattress, you see a nice little medicine cabinet. And then of course, another vanity. Some people don't like the vanity in the bedroom. I do. Somebody can be doing their makeup or hair while somebody else is in the bathroom. And we'll look at two of these drawers. They all should be about the same depth. We are missing a uh, smoke detector. <laughs> and then look, a laundry chute. All right, now finally, we got your rear closet washer and dryer, TV. Once again, TV was upgraded to a flat screen. You can see your combo, stay open for me. Washer, dryer unit. Better than nothing, not as good as a stack, but what are you gonna do? Another little small storage there. I like how the washer and drying system is right next to the laundry chute. Innovation. All right, now your closet. 
There's a light in here. Let's turn that on. As you can see, a couple little shelving over there, the overhead, good wardrobe, cedar line on the left, area to get to the water lines. And if you care about anything on here, you can read it. All right, phenomenal. So now the last thing I'm gonna do, you gotta see how this coach looks while you're traveling. That is kind of important. So let me spend a couple minutes, let me put the slides in. I'll get back with you, show you the interior next year with all the slides in. Be right back. And here we are. As we can see, driver's side, passenger slide, both slides all the way in. I still gotta put the window awnings in and the main awning when I show you the outside, but very, very accessible. I mean, quite comfortable. Titus area is going to be right there in between the dinette and uh, your counter, which honestly, I'm, I don't even have to walk sideways. Look at me go. I am 200 pounds, so that's saying something. And then, of course, your rear slide back here is all the way in. Not much of a walkway by any means in front, but you could still arm your roll across the bed, get to that uh, closet, get to the washer and dryer, bathroom shower, whatever, whatever you need. All right, finally, let's check her out from the outside when you're in travel mode. And hear how it's gonna look while you're traveling down the road. Really appreciate you guys viewing my video. Once again, we are looking at a 2006 Fleetwood Bounder 38S. It's a triple slide diesel push with a 300 horse cat motor engine in it. I keep saying motors for electric vehicles. If you guys got any questions, shoot me a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. I've seen a couple comments about trying not to get my Parkinson shakes going and maybe trying to get a little bit better recording device. I'm working on it, guys. Hopefully, I'll get it soon. Maybe get a little bit more stability in our future videos. Once again, my name's Taylor Quayle. This coach is at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Thanks for viewing. Have a great day.